An exclusive interview with MLB.com is the first time that John Stanton, chairman of the Seattle Mariners, has spoken with any reporter uh, since a couple important news items broke, including, obviously, reportedly, the um, extension for Jerry Depoto. Though, again, in the article by Daniel Kramer, uh, he makes it clear that it's a little more complicated than that. This might have been a longer extension than we all thought. Maybe not a new official one. Let's get to the stuff that matters. The dismissal of Scott Service. Um, John Stanton says... I'm highly confident, obviously it was leaked, right? That was the big mm-hmm, controversy. Mm-hmm. I'm highly confident it didn't come from within this building or from our ownership group because I know there was a very small circle of people who are aware of it. And I have a high level of confidence that those people did not say anything. Then Daniel asks him, well, where did the leak originate? John said, to be blunt, I can't do anything about it, even if I knew exactly the answer to your question. It happened. It was terribly unfortunate. We've expressed, both Jerry and I have expressed our disappointment that it occurred. Um, He did add that the hiring of Dan Wilson as manager was Jerry's choice to be clear 100%. So he's saying, look, I don't know where the league came from. I trust the people who were in this circle. And then uh, that wasn't my decision. That's Jerry. So if this thing <laughs> don't work exactly out, this thing don't work out, man. Don't, don't look at me. <laughs> my hands are tied here. Um, all right. Uh, it, it makes sense. I mean, I don't think that um, the Mariners, I think, however this thing ended with service, I don't think the Mariners dislike service. I think he says it in an article, right? Yeah. He has love for, yeah. for service, man. He's what the, the second winningest manager in, uh, in franchise mm-hmm. history. He did some good things here. I don't think they would want to embarrass him or put him in a position um, like he was unfortunately put in with the yeah. leak of this whole thing. So I, I believe him 100%. I also believe that he, he don't want his hands on, on the no. new hire because if things go wrong, he wants to be able to sit there and say it wasn't me. And you and I will still stand on 100%. Uh, that Scott Service was not the big problem with this club. No. That maybe the decision, because John Stanton does say, I think Jerry made the right decision to move on from Scott. It was mm-hmm. a really heart-wrenching, gut-wrenching decision, but I think we made the right one. I can understand and accept an argument that a change at the top is needed when something is truly broken. Sure. Sometimes you just have to do that. Sometimes the somewhere. person that falls, that's the fall guy for a job, didn't cause it, but mm-hmm. you need a change somewhere. Um, but yeah, I, I still literally nothing has happened to change my mind that Scott service was not like a core issue with this team. Anyways, moving on. Um, let's get to Jerry DePoto. So, uh, Daniel says, uh, again, the author of this article that a source with knowledge of the situation told MLB.com last month that no option on DePoto's most recent deal was, ex- was exercised. That means that DePoto's contract was either for more than three years. So it was either a longer contract than we ever thought or that an extension was agreed to. So Stanton didn't talk about the actual contract deals, but he said this bump. I believe in Jerry and Jerry is going to continue to lead our baseball organization into the future as president of baseball operations. And I believe passionately that he is the right guy to do that. They got a good relationship. Um, Jerry is uh, speaking the ownership's language. He is presenting a plan that they believe in. And I think they lean on, they mentioned this in the article too, right? Four winning seasons in a row, the second time they've done that in franchise history. I know we might not agree with a lot of what Jerry has done, but he's done some positive things here. You don't, uh, it, it's, I read that. All right, well, you've had four winning seasons, second time in franchise history. And it's almost like, see, we're getting better. When it's, Then I look at it and I go, well, you had in a couple of years, I think, a playoff team, a playoff caliber type team, but um, just missing a few pieces. So whatever Jerry is telling these guys, um, whatever he's presenting to them, they like the plan. Mm-hmm. And as an employee of somebody, that's your job is to convey to your boss or the person that you report to that you're good at your job, you're doing a good job, and the future is bright. And it seems like um, to ownership. He's doing exactly that with the tone around the team right now. And that of that is one of frustration and exhaustion by a lot of fans. There was always going to be something a little controversial to come from this, even if it's, I'm sure, not what John Stanton um, intended. Mm -hmm. So he may be saying this and on its face, I don't think it's like that controversial. However, this is the line that most people are talking about after this one. It's about payroll. John says, we're roughly the 15th largest market in baseball. We're pretty much smack dab in the middle in terms of the size of the market. And that means we're about average in our ability to generate revenue and do those things. I think to me, the word we use a lot in our objective is to have a sustainable franchise over a long period of time. He did add, I think our draft develop and trade philosophy certainly doesn't preclude free agents. 
he's using that to justify the spending, saying, look, we're smack dab in the middle when it comes to market size. So we're smack dab in the middle when it comes to spending. Those things correlate and they're related. So it makes sense to me. Um, and saying that you want to build sustainability. And if just being a winning franchise or winning any of the season with a winning record is sustainability, okay, they're going to be able to do that. Uh, I think the question or the things that the fans want is like, let's get over that hump yeah. and get to the playoffs one every other year or something like that. You know what I mean? Sustainability is um, is a great thing, but when you are the Mariners and you haven't been to a World Series, you want to feel like you're going all out and not just trying to maintain. You know, that's what it sounds like. It feels like it's like, look, we're maintaining. We're smack dab in the middle yeah. as far as market spending. We're, we have four winning seasons. We're good. And I understand how they can see it that way because they're the ones uh, spending the money, exactly. right? It's their money. So I, I understand that. But the the fan just doesn't feel that way. No, and they don't feel that way because there is something fundamentally true and also that fundamentally feels bad about this. Um, one that's fundamentally true is, like you said, they're the, I think, like 12th largest media market. And, and so the, mm -hmm. around middle of the road, they're outside the top 10 in terms of media market size. Uh, and they're around 10 or just outside the top 10 in reported revenue. Those, the, those numbers haven't obviously been confirmed by the Mariners. So we don't actually know that those numbers are real. But reported revenue right. is around 10. What's fundamentally true is that they don't have the money where... 40 to 45 percent of their payroll is going to get them what the Dodgers have or what the Mets have or what the Yankees have. However, can you preach that your method and your 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 the method to your madness? I don't know that the the approach you want to take is sustainability when you have one playoff appearance in 24 years. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, can you really be like, look, what we do is we gear towards sustainability and getting to the playoffs more often than not. But you haven't. So what needs to change? For instance, you can be a draft trade developed type of team doesn't lean heavily on free agency but what happens when draft trade developed doesn't lead to the playoffs and doesn't lead to good rosters yeah I, I think sustainability means something completely different to them to the businessman it means we are profitable we are competitive and we have a chance every single year for the fan, sustainability is you actually have a chance to make the playoffs. You're playing important games towards the end of the year, and you've kind of gotten some of that, but you want to be, I would imagine, uh, a diehard fan wants to feel like, all right, with a month to go in the season, we're already in this thing. All we have to do is just play um, decent baseball, and you're good to go. Instead of towards the end of the year hoping for a miracle, saying we got to go on a run, we need this to happen for this team to lose to get in. And I think the fans deserve that, man. So sustainability, yeah. business talk is one thing. Sustainability as a as a fan of a franchise is a completely different thing. A thousand percent, you completely nailed it. You're sustaining a profitable but profitable business. You are not sustaining a playoff team. So how do you make up the gap? Yep. Jerry Depoto would say, "Well, we're going to make up the gap by." Um, finding some really good pieces that we uh, that we draft and, and develop and, and, and turn into a playoff team. Some fans would say, I think you close the gap by spending a little more. Mm -hmm. um, ownership would probably say, well, we can only spend so much. You know what I mean? So, but either way, you need to. You need to close that gap. You need to close the gap, whether it's by spending, whether it's by being better with your front office decisions, um, whether it's by getting lucky. I don't know what it is. And there, another reason that this is controversial is there are unconfirmed numbers about revenue and the Mariners spend, according to these numbers, which have never been confirmed by the team, but like around 40 percent of revenue on payroll, which is not that different from a team like the Yankees. Um, but that is disheartening when you consider that the Mariners, according to these numbers, would be making more revenue than teams that uh, – are that there are teams that are spending roughly the same on payroll that are making less revenue is yeah. what they're saying. So mm -hmm. I think a, a fan that looked at that, that thought those numbers were real and maybe they are, I don't know, is saying, well, why don't you spend a little more on revenue?